I start with the track clocks. Um, it literally opens with a sample of a clock. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, On top one, of that, two, I, I start two, this waltz. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two, and one, and one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. And that's when I knew what Chronomicon was going to be all about. It was it was polyrhythms and odd signatures. It was a meditation on time. It was all about uh, patterns and space, uh, and getting swept up in these extended, passionate melodies. It allowed me some glimpses of stability in the music. I, anytime I'd want to move the music on somewhere else, I I'd stop myself and let it breathe by repeating things and repeating things again with a twist uh, and then repeating them again in a brand new way. Chronomicon uh, could have just been a, a acoustic guitar album. I tried different techniques like uh, sampling bells and hitting the guitar as a drum, uh, bowing an acoustic bass. And then I, I would play toys to double the melody. And for the recording I had Anthem, my percussionist, uh, perform the parts. I also tried a new technique taking Anthem's live percussion performances and then to trigger these massive sounding drums.